Hey guys, I'm back today with another YouTube video, and today we are going to be taking a look at the three new cabins that were released with the uh, Night Riders event here. Uh, by the time this video goes up, though, um, this would have already passed. But I guess, you know, better late than never. So, um, today I'll be discussing the cabins top speed, how good they are for which raid, and um, how good their perks are, and what could be changed. So first of all, we're going to start off with probably one of the better cabins that came out, the Harpy. It's 1800 power score, which is a fair bit more than the Bastion and the Photon, but there's reasons for that. Because the perk is, is it, it increases the volume of additional ammunition by 50% from ammunition and microfactory type modules. And it also boosts projectile explosion radius by, um, by 20%. So, with this cabin, uh, as you can see, it's not that big. It's, it's uh, pretty easy to armor up. But the one downside about this cabin is that it's considered a light cabin. So, it has a very low mass limit for what it is. An 8,500 kilogram mass limit with a measly 4,500 kilograms of tonnage. So, this is more of a cabin to be used with a glass cannon build. Um, instead of anything that's worthwhile armoring. This, uh, this cabin would also be good for uh, drone uh, vehicles. Using uh, the the rocket launcher turret and the rocket launcher drone, as well as the fuse. Uh, this cabin would definitely be good for those weapons, and it would also be good for the wasp or, or any other weapon that shoots explosives like cannons and whatnot. Now, it, and it does certainly increase the amount of ammo that you get out of uh, weapons. Say, um, because it has the 50% increase, uh, I don't, okay, so, yeah, 16. So, technically, instead of having 16, it would have 24, if I'm right. I can check that here pretty quick, actually. Wait, what? Hey. Oh, is that, does it increase the amount of ammunition? Additional ammunition, not uh, original. Oh, I misread that. Uh, so if you had an ammo pack, say, this says it already increases it by 30%. So actually, instead of it being 30%, that now becomes 80 So I don't know what kind of uh, math so that is, but as you can see, only one ammo crate gives you 8 ammo instead of, well, let's see. Ah, it gives you 8 ammo instead of 5, I think. Yeah, 5. So, um, and, and it certainly is a good cabin. It's very fast. It has the 12 energy points. And it definitely, it, it does have a fair bit more durability than something like the Growl. But, then again, the Growl has a fair, a fair bit less power score. Now, moving on to the Photon, which is the mid-range cabin of the three. It, 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 it's a medium cabin. It has, it's relatively powerful, and it has quite a high mass limit for, uh, what, for the fact that it's a medium cabin, and it still gives you 12 points of energy. Um, it, it's better than the Quantum because of the higher mass limit, but it has the same tonnage. But it it does have a lot more durable, uh, durability, but it is a fair bit bigger. And it weighs a lot more, but that should be expected. So the perk of this one is, is that all energy weapons will deal 130% more damage to any heated parts. The more the part is heated, the higher the damage. So, I don't have any weapons that create fire anymore that I could use to test that but uh, overall this is definitely a, a good cabin 
It also looks pretty cool, too. And, obviously, this is going to go into the Dawn's Children faction. This one is most likely going to go into Steppenwolf's, and that one into Firestarters. So, overall, I mean, it's a pretty wide cabin, I can give you that much. But, in terms of its length, it's relatively okay on that front. I guess it could be uh, equated to the... Uh, well... Okay, so it's a little smaller than the humpback, but it is the same width. Okay, interesting. Wait a minute. That's weird. Uh, before, it just didn't even allow you to choose a cabin. Huh. Didn't know they changed that. But uh, anyway, the... The photon... Oh. The photon here is, uh, it's definitely one of the better cabins. Now, we will move on to the last cabin, and by far, my most favorite one. The Bastion. So, it's kind of looks like a bulldozer, and I think that's what the devs were going for. And, people think that the Bastion should be boosted in some way, and I agree. Because the only perk that it has is that the blade at the front uh, has a 50% damage reduction uh, to all weapons except for energy. So, you know, it, it's definitely a good cabin, but uh, this is a little caveat here. With the, It's, it's kind of hard to armor. I mean, <laughs> what I like to do, you know, is try and find what weapon would work best in a situation like that because you know this weapon becomes immediately very well armored especially if you're using something like the uh, Goliath traction and what was funny is that that idea that I had for the uh, for for that uh, build that Mr. G showed off that build was actually thought up of while I was taking a crap on the toilet I know right the, it's like the greatest ideas you get are from being on the toilet. But um, anyways, this is certainly a good cabin. It does. It does. It only gives you eleven points of energy, but it has very high durability. A uh, very uh, uh, a mass limit that's equivalent to the humpback, and it has one thousand kilograms more tonnage than the humpback. Um. It does only have a max speed of 60 kilometers an hour, but that's the same as the humpback. So, in my opinion, this cabin's a little bit better. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, this cabin's a little bit better because it's thinner in most ways, other than the blade. But, uh, yeah, so now uh, I'll give you the sounds because I do like to do that whenever it comes to these sorts of things. Uh, of the stock engines in these and the horns, uh, it's something I decided to start doing since <laughs> the sounds guide video I made uh, about the new engine sounds back in update. Heck, I don't even remember anymore. But uh, anyways, uh, I'll let you guys listen to that and uh, turn up the volume so you guys can hear it better. So that was the uh, Bastion Cabin. Now I will move on to the Photon. Oh jeez.
That was the sound of the photon cabin. And now we will take a listen to the harpy cabin. After I make the frame a little bit better for this cab. An interesting little uh, thing about this cabin as well is that the lights work on it. Uh, it doesn't look like the brake lights work, but at the very least the cab lights do. Front, the headlights. And that was the sound of the harpy cabin. Now, in terms of these three cabins, the bastion is definitely at its home in a PvE build. The Harpy is definitely PvP and the Photon's kind of uh, in between that range. But overall, I must say, uh, I think the Harpy is going to be the most popular by a long shot. Um, but the Bastion there is going to be for those either art builds or builds that are kind of crazy. Uh, for example, that freaking crazy armor uh, can't kill guns build that I made. Which, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a video on that too. There's some juicy stuff going on with that, but I'll need to wait for more info. Um, I think the Photon's number two in terms of its popularity and worth. And the Bastion, unfortunately, is number three, at least at this point in time. And, let, and if they buff it, then, you know, it'll probably go to number two. But I don't think that's very likely. But, uh, anyway, this has been a look at the three cabins in the new update. This has been Diamond Miner 11, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!